Hey y'all, I'm gonna wait for a few people to get into the chat and then we'll get started. Uh, we did we, we did schedule our meet and greet, many people across the state of Florida. Uh, we're planning on coming to meet with us. And of course, in the good human nature of YouTube, you've got some people that actually were out in front of the Gabby Petito house with us that used to be uh, people that we perceived as friends or friendly. I found out very quickly, not so much. Uh, you don't tell Bullhorn Betty, you try to come over here and make nice with me, and then you're gonna tell me what I can and can't do in my own state that I work my ass off in? You have got to be joking me. You have got to be joking me. And for you to show the lack of respect toward me. No, 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 no. And let me just give a little message. Your threats may have been to someone, I was with that someone, therefore your threats are directly toward me. And you live in the same state I live in. I just want to let you think about this just real quickly. You live in the same state I live in. If you don't think I will have your ass in court and with a restraining order quicker than shit, you want to threaten people? You want to, you want to injure and harm somebody? You want to be violent to people? Everything that I advocate against and you think you're going to, what, intimidate me? You are lucky that my ass has got things to do tomorrow. Otherwise, I would have showed up with my people. You don't want to. My people are good Christian people. But let me tell you, those good Christian people don't put up with a whole bunch of stuff. Those good Christian people will have your ass in jail. Those good Christian people would be videotaping you as your butt is going straight to jail. Because even though we're Christian, doesn't make us doormats. Does it make us doormats? So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not even going to give these creators a, 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 a platform because they're going to be dogging Bullhorn Betty yet again. Go back to your drugs. Go back to beating your wife. Your wife likes it. Okay, clearly. She's still with you. We know what happens because I was on the other end of the phone when you gave her some of those blows and I kept my mouth shut for her benefit. So she wasn't violated by you again. But let me tell you something, Bullhorn Betty is not your wife. You come and put your hands on me, you've got a big, big problem. And believe me, the police, police departments around here, even in Charlotte County, know who I am. And whether they like me or not like me, I am still a major part of the state of Florida. So they're going to have to walk a thin line. Unfortunately for you and your small little following, don't call me again. We're done. You can talk all the mad crap you want for your clout. You can never be Bullhorn Betty, and you never had what it took to be part of our team. That's why you're out. This whole, this whole nonsense with your testosterone and having to be, oh, respect, respect. You know, people that really have respect, that hold themselves, they don't need to force somebody to respect them. They do everything to command that respect, and people give it to them. When you want to act like a thug, when you want to act like a thug, we will treat you like a thug. Because us people up here don't deal with people down here. Okay, you take that thug, thuggery crap back to the gutter. That's what you can do. You can take it back to the gutter because where I sit, far from there. Where you sit, you belong. You put yourself there and you want to threaten people. Well, you know where I live. Come threaten me. Come to my front door. I promise you, your ass would be in jail like that. That's why you don't step here. That's why you don't step here. And you may want to do a protest. That doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. I'm a liberty person. If I can deal with it, if I can give it, I can deal with it. Right? I'll be bringing out some sodas and lemonade for the people that want to protest Bullhorn Betty because, oh my God, she's the worst person in the world to go out and try to help cases. Oh, oh. All right. I'm done with my soapbox. 
So anyways, we had a great time. We got to obviously, <laughs> we had a great photo shoot, a great video shoot. Uh, we were going out to the meet and greet because clearly we're all dolled up. I still got to go back to Marissa's. I got to drop her shirt off, right? <laughs> this is Versace. I don't think she wants me keeping it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but did had a great time. Uh, why didn't you go to dinner with them? Because, for, well, let's just be honest. There, we I have been with Marissa. I was with her for Christmas. I was literally with her all day today. Um, she bought me debt or bought me lunch. You know, she has been a, a wonderful, wonderful person. Um, uh, but to be honest with you, I'm exhausted. I mean, this takes a lot out of you. And I'm right now in the process of getting stuff ready to go. Right. So we got things to do a hell of a lot more important things to do than it, dealing with some stupid idiots that deserve to be back in prison. And hopefully they keep their shenanigans up. That's exactly where both of them will eventually be. You don't act like a fool. You know, you play, this is what Dolly Vision always says. You play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And you're not, there's always gonna be somebody bigger and badder than you out there in the world. That's why you should be kind to people. And this whole thing, this whole testosterone thing that they got going on, has to do with a situation that happened a year ago. They're still hooked. Like, that's the vein of their existence is being pissed off at someone for a year. You think it's her? Oh, baby. No, 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 no. If you're that angry after a year, believe me, it's all of you. It's you. It's not her. It's not me. It's not Olivia. It's not the work we do because you were out there with us doing that exact work. You want to hit a woman? And be standing out in front of Gabby Petito's house, demanding justice and denouncing abuse, domestic violence, and you yourself beat your wife? That's where we're going? Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, now you know where I stand on it. Again, won't give you a plug. Take your ass off my channel. You guys can talk all the mad cash shit you want. Nobody's going to listen to you. Why? Because you did it to yourself. By being egotistical, arrogant, and stupid. Stupid. You don't want to threaten Bullhorn Betty. And you damn sure don't want to threaten her with violence. That is literally... The absolute worst thing you can ever do. Absolutely the worst thing that you can ever do. So with that being said, I hope you guys are doing great. I know I look beautiful. Who knew? Right? Who knew? Right? Look at that. Look at that. Right? Who knew? It's a clip on. Who knew? Looks so good. Looks so good. The only thing I don't like is it snags on all this shit. It just snags on it. So anyways, guys, I'll be back here a little later. If I know this is a short live. Maybe I should go a little longer. I don't even think, I think Marissa's eating dinner. I was going to say, I need to get this shirt off and get it back over to her house. It's driving me crazy. You know what? Why don't you guys sit here for just a second? Let me go do a wardrobe change, okay? Let me do a wardrobe change and I will be right back, okay? So we can talk. I, I, I don't feel comfortable. You know, I've been in this crap for, for a little minute. So just, just give me a minute. Ready. Ah, okay. Now I feel better. Ah, there I am. Feel much better. I know I do like the longer locks. I do like the longer locks. So I'll grow my hair out. I'll grow my hair out. But uh, 
and just clip, you, you split your hair back like this and you just clip it right up under here. It looked gorgeous, it looked gorgeous. It was a nice piece, it was a nice piece. Well, money well spent. Um, and I love the photos. I love the photos. You guys gotta check these out. We did pretty good. Did you guys check them out? Let me pull up Facebook. <laughs> That's where everything's at, is Facebook. Let me share this. Oh, by the way, thanks, guys, for sticking with me. Uh, what is his wife's channel? Ugh. I'm not going, we're not going to advocate for them on this channel. Not at all. Please don't put it in the chat. Don't talk about them. Unfortunately, I don't advocate for violent people, and they do not get plugs on a channel that garners 830 some odd people in a chat room without even, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, they don't deserve the plug. If you guys are curious, go listen to other channels. They will not get the plug on here. And I really don't want them getting the plug in <laughs> Team Blonde. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Yes. And we had some gorgeous photos, by the way. And these aren't even the interviews. And we didn't get it. We still have some stuff that we should have probably got done, but we were running out of time. And trying to get out of the house and get to the meet and greet, which was, uh, you know, I'm glad we didn't get so far down the road that um, let's see, it's on here. That we that it was like, you know, that we just went and wasted a whole bunch of gas. We had just gotten on the road not too long. Oh, is this? Are these them? I know I have more. Okay, come on. I am really not liking this whole new design that StreamYard has done. I really don't. I'm going to have to call there. I haven't complained yet, but I, I've got to. So here we go. Let's look at this. There's us starting out. That's all, all of us without anything on. No makeup, no nothing. We're like, ah, F you. We're starting out. <laughs> right? And then as we go, it's like, okay, let's do the eyes. We're like, ah. So that's before it starts, and then boom, we get the makeup crew in there, the hair crew in there, and you get that. <laughs> and that, and that, I love that painting. I love the painting behind me. Aw, me and MGL. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't, haven't liked anything yet, please do. Please do. Uh, go out there and like this segment. Uh, haven't been going live a whole lot, you know, as many of you guys know, um, uh, you know, the, I told you guys as soon as Christmas is over, things start picking back up. So there's that one. Boom. House of Williams, our beloved Mallory. Yes, she was with us. She was with us. It was a great time. We had, we had a lot of good fun. And then we're back to that. <laughs> So, yeah, I know those, those hair, the hair, I love the hair. I, I, I definitely, I'm going to get probably some more extension pieces. They're nice. They look really pretty and they lay great with my hair, you know, like the hair and everything like that matched my hair color almost perfectly. And I, I believe it or not, wore it and wondering if it would. Yes, yes, yes. Great people. We had a great time today, guys. We really did. It was, uh, I think, something we all needed. And uh, it's it's definitely, hopefully, um, you know, more will come of this. Um, again, big shout out to um, uh, Marissa, a.k.a. Molly Go Lightly, Heels on the Ground, Mallory D. Williams, Justice for All, Chronicles of Olivia, and yours truly, Bullhorn Betty. And, um, you know, again, I hope you guys all had a wonderful and a Merry Christmas. It was, uh, it, this was definitely different for Bullhorn Betty. I, I this was a Christmas uh, like no other. Um, didn't really have a lot of expectations. Actually had no expectation. I was actually depressed about the lack of expectations <laughs> this Christmas. And um, boy, you know, a uh, Be Betty fan, you know, sending me stuff uh, on Christmas Eve and waking me up on Christmas morning with Dunkin' Donuts. I really felt the love. I felt the love of everybody in here and, and in, in our mod chat that, you know, Merry Christmas and keeping me out of the funk. 
uh, reaching out to me, everything like that. And then Marissa coming into town only nine minutes away from Bullhorn Betty and like 12 or 13 minutes away from Chronicles of Olivia. It was uh, a great, we just, it, we did. Uh, no, what does it say? Like those pictures. Are you coming through Orlando? Well, Kat, not right now, not right now. Um, probably in the near future, there's always stuff going on here in Florida, unfortunately. <laughs> So, um, but yes, I'm always in Orlando uh, quite a bit, at least several times a year. So I'll have to keep you in mind whenever I do come to Orlando, but I'll, I'll start coming. I'll start letting you know when I get uh, go to Orlando. I got a few of you in here from Orlando. Meet and greet was canceled, canceled meet and greet, not because of what, what we did. We wanted to go, we were heading out there, but um, apparently, uh, there was, uh, two people, two other YouTubers, you know, remember when we went through all the stuff with, uh, Doug live and I, I talked about how important and how dangerous our jobs are and how we can't as creators be advocating for violence and be advocating for violence upon one another. Well, a couple YouTubers, they don't, they, they try to say they're true crime, but there's no respectable true crime person out there that's beating on their wife and uh, violently attacking other people. Um, if you're that violent, you need to be in jail, period. You need to be in jail. Um, I, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know what happened. I was driving to the thing and I get a call from uh, MGL and she put me on speakerphone and uh, we were listening to the restaurant and talking to them and finding out what, what actually transpired and two people showed up with weapons. Uh, so it, let me ask you guys this. Do you think that the work that we do, we deserve to be beaten? We deserve to be violent. I've never been violent to one person, but because they don't like what comes out of my mouth, they want to assault me. We've gotten to a place in this country where you don't like the job that I have. So because of that, you can violently attack me. We've gotten there in this country. where people actually think that they can tell you what you can do, don't even know you, never even met you in their life, and they think that they can come here and tell you what you can and can't do, what money you can and can't make, what donations you can and can't keep. What? Have you lost your ever-loving mind? You do not own me, and until your ass gets off your flippin' ass and pays my damn bills here, pays my taxes, puts a roof over my head, pays these damn life, pays that auto insurance out there, buys my motherfucking house. You do not tell me what I can and cannot do. Ever. You didn't birth me. And you damn sure ain't paying me. But you want to come here and, and tell me you're going to Assault me? Bitch, bring it. 5822 2nd Street, West Braden, Florida, 34207. Bring your ass here to my motherfucking house. If that's the way you want to play it, come here. You want to, you want to deal with me? Deal with me to my face. 5822 2nd Street, West. I bet you you don't have the balls. Because as soon as you do... As soon as you come over here being violent, your ass will be at the Manatee County Sheriff's Jail in a heartbeat. Bring that shit here. Bring it. You don't have the balls. Now sit down and shut the fuck up. It's what I thought. Bring that testosterone steroid rage bullshit to my front door i will take care of it and i will not need to hurt a harm a hair on your head i will not need to put one finger on you but i promise you i will take care of it do you hear me i bet you're watching I bet you're watching what you got now? 
You're going to put on, put your hands on a woman that's done one, nothing to you. Never said anything bad to you. And you're going to grab, drag me into your shit a second time. Okay. Okay. Well, you know where I live now. Come step in my, so come step on my property. Come step in my hood. Guys, I hear crickets. They're so worried about getting clout off MGO, but they don't have no balls. Now that we got that clear little boy and little girl, keep my name out your mouth. But you won't because you need to make your dollar bill too, right? Oh, that's right. Those monetized accounts. <laughs> so explain to me why you can make money, but MGL is not allowed to. Still waiting. And you assholes know my phone number, so you guys could actually call me. Have this conversation with me. Oh, everybody's safe. <laughs> Everybody's safe. We literally left our photo shoot and was heading to the thing and we got a call and we came home. But I'm going to tell you one thing you don't do is don't threaten me. You got a problem with me. You want to call me on the phone. You want to have a conversation. I'm, I'm willing to have the conversation with you. When you start threatening violence to me, violence to the people that I'm with, you do not know to the links I will go to make sure that you are held accountable for that. I do not believe in violence. I do not believe in breaking the law. I believe in law and order. And if you think I'm going to sit here and allow you to sit there and tell me you're going to violate my rights, you got another thing coming. And again, you want to come and step with that shit? Come on over. I will not even need to, the only phone, the only thing I will need to do is use my index finger, 911. Or I'll just send my neighbor right to my next door neighbor's house and knock on his door. Doesn't matter to me. Either way, you come over here monkey fucking around, your ass is going straight to jail. You will not pass go and you will not collect your $200. <clears throat> it's just disgusting. They actually think that they can use violence and intimidation to stop people. And believe me, they are, they are just, they have just kicked the hornet's nest. They have just kicked the hornet's nest. I hope they're prepared for what they've done. That's all I'm, that's all I say, as I hope they're prepared for what they've done. And I don't need to use intimidation or violence tactics to get a job done because I know the law. All I got to do is go down to the police department, which I plan to do. So, because we are in the same state. I don't have to go nowhere. I can do all my business right from here. Uh, we will not be telling them. We will not be tell saying who they are on here. But I will tell you, I will not be threatened ever again. Okay? It ain't happening. And nobody's putting their fucking hands on me. So I don't know where the, where, where they're coming from. I, I mean, they're, they, nobody's going to put their hands on me. Period. <laughs> they just won't. If they're that stupid to do that, well, they'll get stupid prizes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and what they did to Marissa is 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 it is criminal. This stuff is criminal. They because people aren't pursuing it doesn't mean that what they're doing is not criminal. All that needs to happen here, and that's what I was telling Marissa, is people when they start doing these things, and they start going out and cyber cyber stalking is literally. Following somebody online, okay? Knowing everything about them online. How many people do that? I bet each and every one of you are guilty of cyber stalking someone. Cyber stalking is criminal in all of our states. All of them. All of them. And then to physically cyber stalk somebody and then show up, that is dangerous. And not only that, but believe me, judges and law enforcement take that seriously. Why? Because that's action. That is an act that is an act that you put behind that. They take that stuff very seriously because now you have committed to that threat. 
Now you have just committed to that threat. So I hope that the uh, restaurant uh, takes action. It sounds like they are planning on taking action. Um, I'm planning on taking action against this. Uh, I'm planning, I've already got their videos of the threats. And then uh, we've got surveillance cam cameras of them actually showing up. This is serious. I don't think they realize how serious this is. Yeah, it was all done on live. Sure was. Like, how stupid can you be? Like, seriously, how stupid can you be? I have never in my life met such stupidity as I have on YouTube. I have to be honest with you. I literally think think we have a 50-50 split on YouTube of sane people versus insane people. Okay? Well, maybe we have more sane people than insane people because their numbers are pretty low while our numbers are growing. I think people are realizing if you want to have some sanity in your life, you want to come over to this neck of the woods. You want to leave that behind. So they cost the restaurant, that restaurant money. Yeah. That restaurant has damages, financial damages from what they did. Never mind stopping the, the money that we were just about to pour in there, which is going to be a grand, right? So they just lost at least that. I hope, I hope that restaurant sues them. And maybe that's exactly what they need to do to stop this stuff from going on. YouTubers do not have the right to go and and. and, and, and and disrupt another YouTuber's job or business. Lots of jellyfish, absolutely. For those that don't know what jellyfish is, here, let me help you out. Some people are so dumb that I genuinely wonder how they survive from one day to the next. And then I remember that jellyfish have survived for 650 million years with no brain. So I guess if they can do it. Just saying, just saying, right? People lack brain cells on the streets of YouTube. Literally brain cells. I see brain cells falling out the ears of half these people on YouTube. And the ones that are, are nasty on YouTube have already lost half the brain cells before they even got here. So they're walking around brain dead, acting like they know something and trying to convince you the same. No education, barely scraped by with a college education, got crack pipes falling out of their damn mouths and people on YouTube supporting them and sending them money to buy their drugs. Because they come here and say, oh, I hate Bull Horn Betty. Oh, here's 20 bucks. Uh, such low lives and desperate POSs, uh, that's all. If they don't like our freedoms, they can leave. Yeah. They have nothing good to offer, and they need to be held accountable. Make an example out of Yeah, I absolutely believe they do. I absolutely believe they do. Absolutely. There are people I don't like in the world, but I wouldn't harm anyone. No one will, is worth going to prison for. I exactly. Thank you. There's a lot of people that I don't like. I don't go and assault them. I don't go and, and track them down. Who does that? That to me is insane. That to me tells me you've got some major problems upstairs. Especially since this stemmed from over a year ago. Actually, to be, if you want me to be very precise, 15 months ago. If you're harboring that much anger and animosity because you had a disagreement with somebody 15 months later, you got some serious, you got more serious problems than that person you got a problem with. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. I was married for 10 years, walked away from a 10-year relationship and didn't even harbor that many, much pain and animosity toward one person. <laughs> right? Many of you guys... <laughs> Many of you guys are divorced and wouldn't even track down somebody. <laughs> like, they are freaking insane. Lost every single marble their mama gave them. Fell right out their ear. Mm -hmm, sure did. <laughs> Wait until the steam and the, the smoke starts coming out. Hold on. 
I think I'm, I'm, my horns are popping up. I think I need to, to correct my, my halo on top of my little horns. Yeah, so that was our, that was our, but we had a great day. And it quite, you know, I always say um, things happen for a reason. I really do believe things happen for a reason. One, it exposed how crazy these people are. So if you guys are subscribers to them, it you're supporting violence. I can't say their names. I won't say their names. Many of you guys know. But if you guys are literally a subscriber to either one of those channels, you are supporting violence. Domestic violence and otherwise. So you might want to consider where you're subscribing, who's, whose advertisements you're walk, watching, and what kind of money you're putting in their, in their pocket. Uh, because, you know, we don't advocate for violence. You have never seen, you know, what, what, not only that, what has MGL done that people, that men, BK, and now this Yahoo, feel like they can assault her, a female? And people support that because they don't like her. Have you lost your ever-loving mind? Have you lost your ever-loving mind? Just curious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mama Lama. I know MGL wanted to put some red lipstick on my lips, and I'm like, nah, I'm not really the lipstick type of gal. You know, I'm just not, okay? There's some people that can handle that goop on their lips, okay? I do blistex. I'm not, I do eye makeup. You guys see me here, eye makeup. Not as, not as gorgeous as this. I want to give it up for Scorpio. Scorpio rock. She she made us all look amazingly beautiful. Look at the eyebrows, man. Oh, Lord, Betty got her eyebrows done. What? Yep. Yeah. Sure did. Sure did. Got my eyebrows done. Got an extension piece. That sequin top. <laughs> the only thing I hated about that is it snags the hair. That is not a shirt <laughs> that you should be wearing with long hair. I'm sorry. If you're wearing that shirt, you need to have an updo. It was driving me literally nuts. Every time I turn around, I'm like, oh, oh, ow. <laughs> she might be, she might be missing a few uh, missing a few sequins. They might be in my my extension piece. Someone on Molly's live earlier said someone warned in the chat someone was coming after y'all. Sad. Yeah, no, we we knew. We we were prepared. <clears throat> we made other arrangements uh, so it would be safe. I think what they what they did is they um, pulled the trigger because we were running late because our our photo shoot and everything was running late, and so we were walking out. We were we would have been there on time, but we would have been cutting it close. So that means we'd only been there about fifteen minutes to ten minutes before the start of the um, meet and greet. But see, they're probably thinking in their head that we're going to get there early to set up all this stuff and everything like that. That wasn't the case. I mean, we we didn't even bring headshots, anything, you know, nothing signed for people. It really was just, uh, you know, to come and meet everybody, give them a hug. I mean, we were running kind of, um, we were only gonna be there an hour, uh, but it was just gonna be a nice little, you know, event to say hi to everybody. And you got these yahoos, again, that used to, supposedly support no violence, used to su not support um, domestic violence. You know, these are people that were out there every single day covering the Gabby Petito case with us. You know, they, they used to call us friends and now they're trying to literally assault us with uh, brass knuckles. That's what we heard that they had on them. This is not something that I take very lightly. And I don't think any of you guys should either. This job that we do here is very dangerous, okay? We are in the spotlight. We get no protection from law enforcement unless we call. It's not like we have a, a, a stream of security officers around us to protect us. We are out here just doing our job. And because we're doing our job, can you imagine this Yahoo that does gardens, yards, sprinklers, whatever the hell he does, landscaping, I guess would be more appropriate. Can you imagine if, if he put the sod in wrong, somebody coming up there 
and wanting to beat his ever loving butt with brass knuckles because they didn't like something? Or how about if he just walked by and said, oh, that, that yard looks awful while he's working on somebody assaults him for saying that. Do you think that that's right? Of course not. <clears throat> what did they say? Yeah, they said Molly was scared. Um, that's the last thing that Molly is. not haven't they seen she's a toe to toe? Yeah. No, uh, no, she's not scared and neither am I. You guys do not intimidate anybody. We think you look like idiots. The only reason why we chose not to go and address you is because we didn't want you going to jail. Because I can tell you, once my ass is there, your ass is going to jail. I will argue an officer into arresting you. I will bring out every statute, every Florida statute, every law, every ordinance in Charlotte County that they could possibly charge you with if you so choose. I do have it. I didn't go. You think I'm scared of you? I'm not scared of some stupid thugs. Likes to beat on people. Cops called. Oh, yeah, they called the cops. Oh, yeah. And then they call them back and threaten them again. Like, he, they, this, this, this restaurant has nothing to do with this. And not only did they get kicked out and have law enforcement called. They actually called the restaurant back and went and threatened them again. Like idiots, total utter idiots. One thing you don't know is Bullhorn Betty is well-connected in the state of Florida, well-connected. I traveled this state for years. And that's the worst kind of person you want to mess with is somebody that's not only connected, but connected politically. Because no matter what, no matter what, they have to protect me because I have this and I can cause them a lot of problems here in the state. Nobody, not one politician, not one sheriff's department in this state of Florida will allow anything to happen to me. And if anything does happen to me, they will have no choice but to throw the book at somebody. Properly, within the confines, and believe me, I will be up their crawl every little minute. So please, Noel, white boy lockdown, go home, go get some anger management, go get some therapy, and sit down. You look like idiots. You look like violent idiots. And you're going to try to convince people that you're here for the good of the of victims? No, you're not. Not when you're trying to make more victims. Shame on you. You disgust me. You disgust me to my core. You are the problem in this country. You. Take that to the bank. Anyways, guys, it's late. I got a lot of work to do because I've been on set all day. I'm done. I'm literally done. You guys have a wonderful evening. God bless each and every one of you. And if anybody minced my words on here, clearly you were not listening hard enough. Clearly you were not listening hard enough. But everybody now knows my address. It's been doxxed, I don't know, across every single platform imaginable. But you really want to screw around? Then go ahead and do it. If that doesn't show you I'm not scared of you or anything you got, I don't know what will. But you don't want a piece of bullhorn, Betty. You really don't. Not like this. So God bless each and every one of you. Pray for the lost souls out there ones that are jellyfish that have no common sense you know it is christmas time so clearly not christian people violent people right a dude wanting to hit another woman kind of violent person so if you guys support that that garbage i do not support violence i do not support domestic violence i do not support any of it so i beg of you guys if you're supporting that garbage unsubscribe it's up to you, but that's disgusting.
That's my choice. That's that's my opinion. You do as you wish, but I don't want to hear their names on this channel ever again. They're 86. Like what? They mean nothing. They mean absolutely nothing. And if that's how they have to get their clout is by threatening people and to go online and look like, oh, I'm Billy Badass. I'm just going to beat your ass. Go. Well, here I am. Get froggy with it, little boy. Get froggy with it. Best way to get to jail, to go back to jail. Let me say it best way. The best way to go back to jail is show up here. That is the best and easiest way to get yourself a free ride to three hots and a cop. Don't ever threaten me again. Don't ever threaten me again. Linda Knight, you don't know jack shit about what you're talking about. Rumors don't count. Get your fucking facts straight and stay off my channel and don't ever come here again with that bullshit. Show me your receipts. Show me your receipts. You support Dolly? And he's DV female? Show me your receipts. Arrests don't count. Arrests don't count. Show me the receipts. Show me the convictions. I don't give a rat's ass. He ain't hit you. He ain't hit me. I, I, out of every woman that I've, I've met that he's known, not one of them has ever said that man has been violent to me. So it makes me scratch my head why you think he's so violent. Oh, sorry, you can't talk. I just blocked you. <laughs> sorry about that. Get froggy. Trolls get on the small bus. Yeah, you're not getting no sympathy over here. Oh, Dolly beat women. Really? Where? Because one of them said it? I know how that goes. Have you not have you not seen the, the crap I had to go through with my ex-husband? My ex my ex-boyfriends? Come on. Come on now. Lordy, lordy. I remember I used to say, Lordy, Lordy, I feel 40. <laughs> now I have to say, Lordy, Lordy, I wish I was 40. <laughs> right? <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? At least I'm not over the hill yet. We got seven more years, right? We got seven more years before I'm over the hill. Yeah. Oh, he's more likely to be beat by a bullhorn. <laughs> Just not this bullhorn. <laughs> so he's starting to run for the bullhorn. You see the bullhorn, he's running. <laughs> like, uh oh, bullhorn's here. Don't worry. I I I got a new I got a new line. I got a new line coming out. I gotta tell you. Like we thought I I literally we were sitting uh getting ready today um at, at the condo, right? And they were talking, we were talking about bullhorns and I'm like, holy crap, I forgot my bullhorn. Like, right? Like, I'm like, like my bullhorns, like, I'm like, I gotta go home. I gotta get the bullhorn. Bullhorns, bullhorn Betty signature, right? Whether I use it or not, it's still my signature. I'm bullhorn Betty. And I'm like, I don't know if I left it in the car or not. And they're like, you and that damn bullhorn. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> make bullhorns great again. So I think I'm coming up with a shirt that says it's going to be bullhorn logo, like the bullhorn on, on bullhorn Betty. It's going to be make and the bullhorn logo, make bullhorns great again. <laughs> you need a blinged out bullhorn. I was promised a blinged out bullhorn. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get it. And that's okay. And that's okay. Uh, you know, I I'll get... I'll get it in due time, I'm sure. So uh, no worries there. It was just a, a joke that uh, probably was stretched off too far. Don't go beat up on, you know, Dolly. You know, I I'll take care of the blinged out bullhorn. And actually, to be honest with you, I like my original. I have no problem with my original bullhorn. It still works just fine. I don't know why everybody's wanting me to get a bigger bullhorn. You know, this is not like, you know, I'm not a dude. I don't, I, I'm not bashful about my size, okay? I just want to let you guys know the size of my bullhorn is just fine for me, okay? I, I, I'm not having size issues, right? <laughs> I got such a bad mind. I could go so many different ways with this. I could just, 
<laughs> what? Justice for all, if he gives you spankings, who cares if he's little? I walked way into a conversation I don't think I should have been in. I don't think I can get that comment out of my head. But I don't know how we started talking about the, oh, yeah, because somebody said I need my blinged out bullhorn. Well, see, it wasn't just a blinged out bullhorn that was, you know, that they were talking about. It was a bigger bullhorn. You know, one of those ones, like, I got my little bullhorn. You know, it's the one, it's the original. It's like Gabby Petito. It's like, it's going to go into, like, the Hall of Fame of bullhorns, okay? And I, But I love my bullhorn. It's like a car. You know, like, you get so attached to your car, and you literally love that car and love that car. The car took you through hell and back. It's been through XYZ boyfriends or XYZ girlfriends, you know, and it, it's just, it's carried you through life, and you just love it. And the poor thing, after 15 years, just puttered out. Put, 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 put. And you're just, you're heartbroken because you're so attached to this car. And you're even considering possibly uh, putting a, 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 an engine or a transmission into this car, knowing it's going to just be a waste of money because you could buy a brand new car for the same amount of money, right? Well, that's the way it is with the bullhorn. The bullhorn keeps ticking. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. And, you know, I don't want my bullhorn to feel like I left it, you know? Like, my bullhorn has personality and, you know, it's got feelings and stuff. And if I, if I, if I bring a beautiful, blinged-out bullhorn, it's going to make my other bullhorn jealous. I can't be having jealousy up in my house. Like, we got a great vibe going on here, you know? Bullhorn's happy. Betty's happy. You know? I, 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 I'm not sure if I really want to... I don't know. I feel like I'm cheating on my bullhorn when I talk about a blinged out one, you know? Just one of those things. I'm very loyal. <laughs> oh, God. Really? Hmm. I can't wait to find out who you are. I'll make sure you're pretty shook yourself there, buddy. Just a matter of time. Tell your girlfriend, she's her time's already up. She doesn't even know it yet. Oh, Lodi. Block the haters. You are amazing. Yes, I know. I know I'm amazing, just like every one of you guys are amazing. But, you know, again, I just talked to, to Marissa. She told me everything that was going on. She wanted us to go live. She wanted us to tell everybody what had happened, you know. And, again, I believe things happen for a reason. It was an hour away from here. I'm not going to sit there and, and fight with, with two idiots at all. They would have been in jail. It would have still ruined the night. You know what I'm saying? Like cops being there and everything. Like the cops were already there. I'm not, I, I, I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time for this shit. Um, <laughs> thank you. And so it's just like, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I will be seeing them again. Uh, very, very soon, because after this incident, where they're actually physically coming up to a place that I was going to be, that does warrant a restraining order, and they will be having one very, very soon. Um, not only that, but they're asked about to come to court with Warren Betty. So you can eat that. You can take that to the bank. Wait until I get back here. Wait until I get back here. I'll have, and not only that, not only wait until I get back here, I will make sure that my media crew is out front of there to record every bit of it and to plaster it all over YouTube and to make sure that my media friends that adore me put your name across every single media article paperwork that you can possibly muster up from here to California. You want to be famous? But trust me, we are not going to use your stage name. We're going to use your legit legal name because we're not going to give you not one plug, not one, Demora, right? Is that their name? Oh my God. Hit me for privacy, right? Got your address and everything. You guys send me a freaking card to go mail to that Yahoo lady, right? You want to threaten me now? Mm -mm. You'll see me soon. You guys will definitely be seeing me soon. Not tomorrow soon. Well, maybe tomorrow, depending on how, how we're going. 
But there's a lot of big stuff coming up. Again, if you guys would like, let me put the banner on, on here for you. I've got some exciting news. <laughs> Olivia and I are leaving tomorrow. We will be in, in, in Idaho tomorrow. We have got some major things coming. I've already got, uh, I've already got um, record requests I'm going to be picking up in person. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming out, a lot more stuff than when we first had our very first trip out there. We have a lot more information. Oh, thank you in the, in the docs. Nice to see you. Thank you for being our newest member. Uh, Casey, thank you. You're built Tonka Chub like me. Awesome. I got your six. Oh, sweet. That is sweet. But this is a dangerous bit. Like we're all, this is a dangerous business, even for these yahoos that came out here. You're like, this is a dangerous business. We don't need to make it any more dangerous than it is. And I'm sorry, I am not going to get in the gutters and argue with some stupid ass YouTubers. Are you freaking kidding me? Like get a life. Seriously, get a life. Leave my life alone. It's mine, not yours. Live your own life to the best of your ability, but you're too busy living vicariously through me. But anyways, we're going, we're going to be up and at it first thing in the morning, out the door. You guys will be seeing us in um, um, Idaho tomorrow morning. <laughs> yes, tomorrow morning. And uh, we're probably going to be doing a lot of content uh, recording out there. But I think later in the evening, I might go live. Um, because we have some, uh, there's been a lot of stuff online about, you know, the body cam footage and stuff like that. So Olivia and I are really going to do our very best to reenact some of the stuff that you guys have been seeing online. So we can get a, a picture of where the house is, you know, what lights were on. We're going to try, you know, there was some uh, spot where people believe that they saw like lights coming from behind their house. Uh, we're going to try to mimic some of that footage to see where the angles are, where the vehicles had to have been to make those light impressions in that light and in that body cam footage. It's going to be a very good uh, exploratory type of, um, you know, exhibit that we're going to do, um, a vid video exhibit about it. So I hope you guys are, are going to be paying attention and going to be watching. We put a lot of uh, thought into uh, this particular uh this particular trip, we literally have every single day planned. We have oodles and oodles of notes, like literally notes, 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 uh, goals, everything. We even have, I even customized flyers. So they, they these can be handed out. I couldn't find a good flyer online. Um, so I actually, while we were over at, and you can, yeah, I swear to God, you, you can ask Olivia and Marissa because they helped me design this flyer. It looks similar. There's a lot of, uh, different, a lot of differences in it, primarily the fonts, uh, the color scheme, uh, the blocks, everything. Um, their other one was designed similar, but a little different because I got the template from them. But this right here, there was no PDF online. Nobody could click on this and print up a bunch of flyers to hand out in their community. I think that was that's a horrible disservice. Why would they have this this specific flyer out there in the public to print out? But you know, again, that's what that's why we we formulate these teams and we go out because this is the kind of stuff that we do uh, for victims. This is the kind of stuff we do to advocate to find answers. God knows, you know, maybe somebody that had left early. Might be coming back, you know. Maybe this, maybe somebody's been out of town. This flyer may spark something. Maybe they were there that day and left the, the next morning at four thirty to catch a plane to go to Florida. <laughs> Who knows, right? Who knows? But uh, either way, you know, we are packing up. We're I, I've got all this. I still have several more stuff to print off here. We weren't going to tell you guys we were going, but you know, I, I just I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of tiptoeing around because of the, I don't care about them anymore. At this point, you come around and start screwing with me at my job and, and, and threatening me. I, I, I'm done. I will be going down and pressing charges against your ass, period. I'm not playing anymore. You will not intimidate take me or threaten me, and you will not come to my place of work and intimidate me. If you think I'm going to keep, keep continue to put up with this shit, you got another thing coming. And if you do not think the law will support me, you're an idiot. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. Not MGL, not me, not anybody. 
Nobody. Nobody. There's only so much you're going to do before law enforcement has had enough. Do you not understand that, you idiots? I don't deserve to be harassed, stalked, and violated. If you think I deserve, you're probably that deserving of that when I have done absolutely nothing wrong, you're probably part of the problem. Just to let that sink in for a little bit. You do not have a right. You don't even know me. Have a right to tell me where I can go or what I can do. This is America. And if you intrude on my, my rights again, you're going to jail. You're going to get restraining orders. I mean, we're already starting to unmask people, but they're not telling you that. They've already got their notices. Keep keep screwing around. Keep screwing around. I tried telling you guys, 2023 is going to be lawsuit city, in, in addition to me traveling all over the country, which is going to make it easier for me to file lawsuits in certain states. If you are a creator that has harassed me, stalked me, or violated me in any way, and you live in a state that I'm working, but your ass when I'm in that state, you're probably going to be getting a knock at your door with papers being served upon you. Because I'm doing double duty from this point forward. If I got to stay the next 10 years in court to stop this shit from going on, that's exactly what I plan to do. And every person out there knows that I'm committed to this. I have been committed to this from day one, and we have done a lot of work behind the scenes, and you guys are seeing that. You know what's happening. Anyways, guys, I had a great day. I had eh, a rocky kind of ending, but it wasn't really the worst thing that could have happened to me today. Actually, it was a blessing in disguise, to be honest with you, because I'm here. I can pack. I can get stuff together. Now you know why this was so going to be so hard on me today, getting out there and staying. Cause I've got to jump on a plane. i got to literally leave this house at 430 in the morning. So I've got some time now to get everything organized and get some more stuff done and we'll be out. So, it, and that just brings me to it. If you guys are, are, you know, I know a lot of you guys support all the stuff that we do. This is Christmas time, but again, we are going out there. So if you do have some contribution or you would like to make a small uh, donation to this, um, this endeavor, please consider making a small donation to our cash app, PayPal or Venmo. Um, but again, we're going out there whether or not. Just make sure that you guys watch this stuff because if you're not going to be giving some support, you know, through the Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo, the only way that we can we can pay for these trips is through our advertisement. Um, so, you know, you're going to have to watch more commercials in our videos. And uh, But that's a good way for us to get the money for these travels as well. So just, you know, it's not all that's lost. I know it's Christmas time and, you know, you guys had families and stuff and inflation. It's got to be absolutely astronomical. So just make sure the best way you can support us if you can't, you know, support the adventure or, or you know, the, the adventure. Lord have mercy. The, the trip. Uh, uh, please consider um, watching the videos and you can go back and watch other videos that have been, um, that I have already produced and already have out there. Those have commercials on them. If you guys wanna get updated on other cases that we do, go back into the, the videos and into the past lives and, and take a look at them. That's the best, really the best way you could truly help us um, get that ad revenue to help sponsor these trips. Hope your airport is better shaped than mine in Nashville. Oh, well, actually here in Florida, we got two great airports, uh, Sarasota, uh, the Sarasota airport, which is like literally in walking distance from my house and um, Tampa. I fly out of Tampa more so than Sarasota because Sarasota, even though their prices have come down, it used to be a very expensive airport uh, to fly into. But, you know, they've got their credentialing and their international um, status now. And actually, to be honest with you, our airport is fully paid for free and clear. We owe no money on our airport here in Manatee County. Um, and again, it comes again, it comes back down to proper proper county management as opposed to improper management. And um, you know, people may not like me, but you know what? I run a tight ship. And and uh, when I was in the political stuff, I ran a tight ship on that stuff too. And and it's going to be uh, after what I just saw here on Christmas. Um, you guys might be missing me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're going to probably have to start doing later lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays because 
Um, you know, this trying to do the county meetings on the phones and things like that is not doing its justice. I've got uh, a county commissioner that's going kind of, I, I don't know if the word's rogue, uh, but uh, definitely not uh, speaking the same tone he was speaking when he was trying to get elected. So got some issues going on there. So we'll see how all that's going to work out. But um, at the end of the day, if you guys think of any places that you need us to go check, um, to look at, I'm not into all the conspiracy theories crap, you guys. We're on a tight schedule. Uh, but if there is some legitimacy to some statements, to uh, a potential spot, to a potential person, uh, reach out to me and let me know that. I mean, we're going to be out there, boots on the ground. And uh, all right, maybe I should say heels on the ground. <laughs> all right. Um, out there in Idaho, freezing our, our, our tail ends off and um, just trying to, to make heads or tails of this. There's been a lot of stuff that um, is going on uh, that many people, that's it, going on, how can I put this? I can't, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I can't put it in any other words without, I, without I, there's information I'm not allowed to have and I have to be careful of how it, Anyways, you guys get what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, and and the hotel I'm staying at. So I screwed up. Listen to this. I screwed up, and I kept us there uh, until, well, I shouldn't tell you the dates, but I kept us there one day more than I should. And so I was. It, it, I needed to, to change the um, that one day from that particular hotel to a different hotel. Well, this hotel, now granted, it's, a, it's, it's really inexpensive, so I'm going to end up having to eat a whole night because they refuse to... Um, they refuse to allow me out one day. That's a, over a week away. Like, right? Like, I because my reservation is is tomorrow, even though the date that I want to change is over a week away, this particular hotel literally would not ha give me a courtesy after I told them the situation of that day. They want they want to they want that money, whether they earned it or not. They could have done the right thing. But they chose not to. So now I feel like I'm taking taking advantage of. And I did tell her that she that this will be in her, in the review. And this woman went slap off on me, raised her voice, everything because I said, well, this will be reflected in your review. And she is a general manager of this hotel. And believe me, we've got it recorded. And as soon as my stay is done there, not only are they going to get a um, review, a honest and proper review. I am sending that recording of her behavior to her bosses. And I, I and I, I do pursue, I do plan on getting a refund of that day. So whatever she thought she was going to do is going to end up backfiring on her by the time this is all said and done, because the way she handled her herself was unprofessional. And the worst part is, is we got it all on tape. Sure did. So good luck, babe. You'll be seeing me soon. My room better be clean. Don't make me get on YouTube. We'll have a protest out in front of your hotel. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But you know, she did go off and she's like, you're threatening me. I said, yeah, I'm threatening you with a bad review. But you made it. You made the mistake. Yeah, you're right. I did make the mistake. And that will be stated in my review that it was my mistake. But it was in your control, knowing that this hotel, that the stay that I'm trying to change is over a week away. It literally would have cost you no problems whatsoever to cancel one day off my trip. But now you want it. You want that extra $60, not cancel it. And trust me, that $60 is not worth the headache I'm about to give you. It really isn't. You'd be best just to refund me the day. Let me go on my way. Let me stay there in comfort. Stay the hell out of my way and stay the hell out of my room. <laughs> right? So she'll be seeing me. Amber, I'm coming. I'm coming. Anyways, guys, you guys take care. God bless each and every one of you. It is 830 and Bulwer Betty needs to pack. Get this crap up off my face. 
wash my, actually my hair is fine. I don't need to wash it for another day or two. And um, I'm going to be on the road. We will see you guys soon. And we'll be coming live to you from Idaho, Moscow, Idaho, or bust. So guys, thank you. God bless each and every one of you. You're the reason that the Bullhorn Betty channel is rocking and is so successful. You guys, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for your support, we wouldn't even be able to go all over this country, first and foremost. And secondly, we have some of the best, um, you know, we, we analyze these cases. I mean, let's let's be honest. It's not like we're giving you a, a, a bunch of garbage like half of these people are. We actually get the information. We stick to the fact and we speculate based upon the facts that we have at hand. There's nothing wrong with that. And we do it respectfully. We do it with dignity to the victims. But God, you know what? I'm sorry. I don't like killers. And I don't like people that hurt children. So if you're one of those people and you get a knock at the door from Bullhorn Betty, welcome to the shit show. Good day. As you wake up in the morning, you want to find the latest, greatest information about criminal cases and have an intuitive conversation about the suspects associated with these cases. Head over to the Bullhorn Betty channel on YouTube. Breaking news right here on the Bullhorn Betty channel. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty Coffee Club. Enjoy your stay.